EA Sports. It's in the game. Good evening, everybody. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and welcome to the Royal London Theater here in London, England, for tonight's main event. 12 rounds of heavyweight action. This should be a really good matchup here tonight. All that energy that we saw it almost boiled over at the weigh-in yesterday. Now it gets to explode here in the ring. And his opponent across the ring. Of 76 drops with 68 knockouts and five losses by Ray Marshall. Big George Farmer. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Opening round here. See if they go the full 12 tonight. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Tall guy versus short guy here tonight in front of us. Teddy, why does it seem so hard sometimes that some tall fighters don't necessarily fight tall? Because, Joe, it takes great discipline to stay on the outside. You look at him, you say, hey, you're tall. I wish I was tall like that. But now it takes restraint, control to stay in those quarters and make sure you don't give in and allow the shorter guy to get close. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by George Foreman. Another huge shot comes in early on in this fight from him. Well, he understood that his opponent, Joe, was a slow starter. He's jumping right on him, taking advantage. That's a razor-sharp uppercut by George Foreman. Good, clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Andre Bishop. A sound combination by Andre Bishop. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. That's a good job by Bishop offensively. Landing his combinations is a key to victory tonight. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Good job with another left hand. Phenomenal pace being set here. They are burning it up early on. Let's find out who's in better shape. We're going to see. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Big, big shot to the head. He left a hole. It was closed. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, and the chimney. You want to mix it up. Oh, a nice two-punch combo by Andre Bishop. And he's holding. You see, he's committed to that body work. Nice strike after catching one by Andre Bishop. Coming to the end of this round. Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, a round like that where it's a lot of busy activity and both guys being busy. When you were a trainer, are those the kind of rounds that you prefer, or do you like the pace to be a little slower? It does depend on each guy. No, if I have a fight, I'd rather have a guy fight the guy that you never see him. <laughs> Leave me the heck alone. And where I'm in control all the time. But the fans love to see a fight like that. Here we go. Round 
count two is underway. Very nice work from both men. They each got a shot in. Gets rid of that body shot. A well-placed left hand up top. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Andre Bishop. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. Unable to score with the hook. by Andre Bishop. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Way through round number two. <laughs> Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. Good combination to the head. Protecting his head well with his guard. George Foreman's hoping to recover right here. The way to do it, he feels to tie up. Yeah, it's not about modulism right now. It's about getting past this point, surviving, and then having a chance later on to get back to win the fight. You had to see it to believe it the first two minutes of these rounds. Now these fighters are trying to make everybody... Oh, that uppercut got him. Oh, that's got to hurt. What a hook to the body. And he is down and in bad shape. credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by Andre Bishop. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire! Solid. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Andre Bishop's able to come up with a shocker here. Out of nowhere, early on, a knockout victory. And does it with one shot that he never saw. Good, enjoyable, entertaining fight it was. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore saying thanks for being with us. Good evening, I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to London, England. We're at the Royal London Theater. Our main event should be a good one tonight. Boy, and we expect this to be a big night of action. We spoke with both fighters yesterday. Fireworks anticipated here tonight. Let's see. His adversary. Professional record, 77 wins, with 58 knockouts and 8 defeats, coming out of Bay City, Bobby
Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. This is a 12 rounder. Here's round number one. Roy Jones Jr. showing some defense with the block. Teddy, I'm assuming many times in your career, you were training a fighter who did not have the reach compared to his opponent. When you were training him in the build-up to that fight, what a big shot. He got caught right there, and he goes down, but he wants to be fine. Yeah, that's what happens when you don't have one foot fight. He was up on both toes, lost his balance. Listen, Roy Jones Jr. told us all week long, he's not going away this easy. He beats the count, fires off the hook, look at that. That is exactly what the corner wanted to see, a good combination punch by Roy Jones. That's a huge uppercut from Roy Jones Jr. Beautiful. Oh, what kind of punching is this? I mean, he's got nothing on these shots. He's so hurt. You know, his natural instinct is to attack back. Right now, he's got to fight against that natural instinct. Right now, teaching has to come in. You know, instructions from the past where he just covers up and he survives. Punches and bunches, combination up top. Halfway through this round here. Just holds on there. Hands up. Hands up. Butterbean's defense is paying off now. Teddy, you can try to put a label on Roy Jones Jr., but I don't know that you can necessarily classify him as any one style of boxing. No, he's a guy that breaks the rule book. He would drive traditional trainers batsy. I mean, it's really, they would get nuts because he does everything you're not supposed to do. He pulls back from punches instead of slipping them. He drops his hands instead of keeping his hands up. He dares you to make a mistake, and he dares you to catch him while he's making mistakes. If there's ever a guy that you could compare him to, I would say a little bit to Muhammad Ali. And Muhammad Ali was the engineer. He was the pioneer of making wrong right. Roy Jones Jr. with a huge left. Right hand over the top, very accurate with it. combination by Roy Jones. We count down the final moments of this round. End of this round. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Now they got some work to do here. Their man was just dropped. Yeah, the first thing is you put some cold water. You can't use that. You clear his head and you tell him why he was dropped. Jones is fine. I'm looking at him starting this round right now, coming off a round where he was rocked, and I'm telling you, he looks perfectly good. Able to cover up that gut. up of the jab by Roy Jones. Butterbean's hit by a counter punch there. Boy, unable to get away from those punches. Exchange. 
comes right back with a shot of his own. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Jones. up from the knockdown, but what we really want to look for is how he reacts in the coming moments of this fight. Jones is being very patient here, but it's with a plan in mind. He gets to him with an uppercut. What a big shot. Can he get up from this? He's done it before, but can he get up from a second time down? One, two, three, four, five. And it's over. This fight is over. Roy Jones Jr. has gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. that he never saw. It was a good one indeed. And for Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fight.